Welcome to the May Crush Collection. This month we are so excited because we have a special guest. We're actually in his wine cellar, which is awesome. And we're talking about how much a sparkling wine brings us all together. Well, and you know, Meredith, wine brings us all together. We it love, just it just, that's what it does. It's homecoming, it's, it's just fellowship. And with a great buddy here, Trey Inglekey. And um, I, his, he's opened up his wine cellar for us today. And it's, we thought it'd be a really cool place to showcase the new collection. Thanks, Trey. No, you're more than welcome. My pleasure, sir. Oh, man. And you're like pretty, uh, pretty much a doctor in bubbles. I, I like them. Yeah. I would say a doctor in all wines. All wines. But, uh, I've just spending a few hours wandering here, looking at all the different labels of wines he has. We used it's, to open up a beautiful bottle of, of uh, champagne for us a minute ago. Yes, it was an O2 Philippe Prey. It was great. Drank really well. Uh, like doctors, I have a specialty. Consumption. <laughs> so we will. Very we'll, true. We're definitely looking to try some. So I love my buddies here. Give you all the, the smart people stuff, and I'll help out with the tasting and the consumption end. So as Meredith opens the Bouchon, you notice it's always six turns. I wanted to point that out. It'd be fun for you guys to play with that. The Bouchon is French for bonnet, and that's the bonnet that sits over this cool shaped cork. And it's actually the mushroom shaped cork that made champagne a household word. Because they would, they, they were always, uh, that was a really nice one. That's your favorite sound, isn't it? I, that is my favorite sound. You know, ideally they say you should make a bottle of champagne should sigh, not pop when you open it. So I had a little it's pop, fun, but there's a the little, pop. I, I like mean, the, the, pop. the pop is more festive. So sure. let, me, let me see this. So when they start making champagne, they ferment it in the bottle, of course, and they lay it down and notice the shape of the bottle. They were having trouble finding corks that fit in it. And all of a sudden they'd be laid down and one would start exploding and it would cause spontaneous combustion. And I think it was the widow of, um, of um, uh, Don Perignon that uh, just created the shape cork. And then it made the ability to uh, really put uh, sparkling up. So what do we have here, Mary? Well, I'm just starting the pouring. So this is featured in our May Crush collection. It's our sparkling rosé. Mm. We felt with May, there's Mother's Day, spring is in the air, people are getting festive, it's Sunday fun day. This is the perfect wine for all of those things. And after, I always wanna have a sparkling wine. I can't help it. I would have a sparkling wine in every month's collection if we could, but they're rare to find, so. Well, yours is a celebration of eight o'clock. <laughs> it's time to celebrate. <laughs> no, just eight o'clock. I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's a it's a day. It's a day. Let's have so some sparkling. So do you sparkling. think this is, this is Pinot Noir, right? Yeah. So from the, Carneros, correct? So the sparkling wine this month comes from Carneros, and Carneros is one of the only AVAs that crosses both Sonoma County and Napa County. Yeah. It, it's one of the only AVAs that's in two different counties, and they're known for growing uh, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir primarily, which is what is in spark well, primarily makes up a sparkling wine yeah it Chardonnay. runs down by the east bay mm -hmm. so that yeah. beautiful breeze that continual cool breeze hits those tight clustered chardonnay and tight clustered pinot grapes that can be uh, prone to not uh, creating mold and that sort of thing so it's the perfect climate it's right off that san pablo bay comes right into carneros it's gorgeous it's there. a beautiful area and Car uh, Domain Carneros, I know you've been to Sonoma and Napa a few mm -hmm. times. Domain Carneros sits there and they're a sparkling house. Yeah. It's beautiful. So this comes from right right near there. Yeah, we, we tasted it and fell in love with it. And we thought, like you said, it's starting to get warm out. Uh, a lot of us are gonna be doing a brunch on Mother's Day and hanging out. We hope you do, hope you get your mom. And if you don't, find somebody to celebrate it with. And there's this. all, you know, I always say there's all types of moms. You don't have to be a mom to be a mom. You know, you yeah. could be a dog mom, like Sonia's recently become a dog we mom with, with Crush. Crush yeah. You've been following Crush. We'll probably open this with Crush. I think Crush would probably like this. Yeah, I agree. I'll be opening it with Chase, who remember is the mentor to. I love this color. Yeah, this is a. That's a real pretty deeper 
Rosé. Mmm, very fresh on the nose. You got some nice bubbles I'm coming up there. Like cherry. That's crazy. Oh, there's definitely some strawberry. Mmm. That's just full of flavor. I'm really here. I'm really tasting the Pinot. I love it. Very, very crisp. Very fresh. Yeah. yeah. Love the raspberry, strawberry. Mm -hmm. it's great. Mm -hmm. Red fruits. And one of the things you want to think about with a sparkling wine is you definitely want to serve it chilled, usually 45 to 50 degrees. Like sparkling is something I say is okay to keep in your refrigerator because you want it nice and cold. So get it ready. And it's going to go great with brunch foods, you know. And you need to be prepared when you open it to drink it because <laughs> it's going to be tough to save those bubbles unless you have a little fancy Bouchon champagne mm -hmm. holder. But let's face it, if it's Sunday, fun day. Yeah, let's just face it. Let's just drink it. Won't be much left over. It's a very versatile thing. I think every item on the buffet is going to go with Every mom. Oh, good point. going to like it. It's, it's just got a lot of versatility to it. Yeah, it I'll does. It's to a corner like a lot of wines. It's, mm -hmm. it's not. You're up, you're great. The, bruff, the buffet brunch is going to go well with a lot. You could have it with the so salmon. Sweet like, rolls to the omelet. This is fine with <laughs> sweet it. Sweet yeah. rolls to the omelet. Perfect. <laughs> You've had a buffet before, right? A couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get this way on kale smoothie, yeah. sir. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank well, you guys. Cheers. Thank You're you so enjoy much it. for your hospitality and oh, letting yeah. us visit. Thank visit. you so much. Try this. You will love it. One of my favorite champagne stories ever is how the name of champagne, Dom Per, Don, you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, the, the monks take an oath of silence. The first time Dom Perignon tried champagne he went running through the monastery on i have kissed the stars i have kissed the stars hence put dom Perignon on the venue or on the map excuse me and uh, it's a great story you can see why when uh, effervescent hits and love it i've seen Fun the stars i've seen the stars it always means a festive occasion is happening so make sure you see the stars with the may collection <laughs> with our beautiful rosé sparkling rosé